from sunny California. <laughs> it's the Suzanne Summer Show, and here she is. <laughs> My audience of one. <laughs> never let me down. Alex. I'm your best audience. You are. You are. You have been for so many decades. Anyway, I love you. I love all of you. Welcome to the show today. I told you today we're going to talk about... Um, uh, supplements, which you know I love to talk about, especially in today's environment. We brought you some supplements that uh, we feel are pertinent and important to the environment we're all living in today. So I'll talk about those. And uh, I, I, I left one of my supplements upstairs. Let me see. So any, any supplement you buy today, is any supplement, Caroline, they get a free vitamin D3? Any purchase of twenty four ninety nine, you uh -huh. get a free bottle of vitamin D three, which is worth twenty four ninety nine. How about that? How about that? Okay. Um, NAC N acetyl L cysteine uh, is good for the three L's: the the liver, the lungs, and the. Um, uh, help me out here. I'm not doing well. Longevity. Longevity. Yes, I knew there were three L's. Longevity. Okay. I get it mixed up with the are the poet. Aren't I a great salesperson? Did you find it? Yes, yes you oh, are. No. Okay, all right. Yeah. We looked in by the room again. Okay, all right. We, we don't have the NAC, Caroline, so I have to do it without it. Anyway, it's a bottle of, that says NAC on it. And um, do we have the literature on the NAC? I don't see that here. Uh, yeah. I've got... I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, that I'm... Well, while you're doing that... Start off vitamin D. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So, I was thinking of um, NAC relative to Alan this morning because he's got such nasal issues, and he takes our nasal renew, which restores the microbiome in the um, uh, in the nasal and sinus cavity, just like we need to restore the microbiome to the balance between the good guys and the bad guys in the gut. You know what the probiotics have been doing for you. And we in particular, not today in this offering, but we have, um, I think, the most incredible probiotic, which is um, ubiquinol, which means it's going to absorb faster. And also, um, a probiotic puts back what antibiotics take away. And if you've ever had an antibiotic, you've messed up your your microbiome gut. It, the, uh, the gut was not meant to have antibiotics in them, even though they have saved lives. And so that's like, that's the, the, the toss up here of, yeah, well, you know, when you've got an infection, an antibiotic is the greatest thing you can take. And I agree, and so do the doctors that I work with agree. But when you take away anti, you got to put back probiotic. Okay, so um, we're not selling our our <laughs> uh, probiotic today, but you can go to the site and get it. It's called uh, Ubiquinol uh, Probiotic Renew. Anyway, advanced probiotic. Advanced, uh, advanced. And, uh, you know, listen, your, all your supplements are on sale today. Everything gets the free gift. We just put some fun ones. Oh, good. Okay. I, oh, good. I thought that you were limiting just to these, and I was thinking, oh, I don't think I can talk about probiotics enough. I take one probiotic and a prebiotic uh, uh, candy chew every morning and every night, and so does Alan. He particularly dislikes the candy, don't you, Al? I do. Yeah. yeah. But I under also understand the value. Doesn't the prebiotic feed the probiotic exactly the prebiotic is food for the probiotic so in other words the prebiotic makes the probiotic work better because it's been given the nutrition and all of us living beings need to uh, thrive and survive on nutrition so um, in today's environment though uh, I can't stress enough the importance of uh, vitamin D3. Vitamin D3 supports your your most important systems, your brain, your heart, your cardiovascular, your immune system, and your endocrine system. That's kind of powerful, you know, that uh, it, it does all of those things. And um, uh, we take a couple, these are, these are three milligrams, I, I think it's the 5,000. 
thousand. Okay, then then uh, Alan and I take two. We take ten thousand. Okay. Oops, sorry about that. Um, but you can ask your doctor what he thinks you should take. But I hope your doctor is a forward-thinking doctor and not a doctor that's stuck and only working with what he learned in medical school because that's limited now in today's world. It's a different world. The world that our older doctors uh, were aware of and studying when they were in med school hardly exists anymore because of all the new diseases and epidemics and the onslaught of chemicals. Can I say that enough? The onslaught of chemicals. So, you know, I always try with these supplements, like, during this, these trying times, if you get vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin B12, um, probiotic, zinc, picolate, I'll talk to you about that, um, you're, you're going a long way to help support your health. There's another thing I want to talk to you about that I wrote about in A New Way to Age. It's called Senolytics. I just sent Senolytics to a friend of mine who's had a serious uh, lung issues and had to have half of his lung removed. As we age, here's what aging is, you know, uh, you and I, here I go again, are approximately 40 to 60 trillion cells. So if you're a bunch of cells, if that's what you are, then you have um, uh, a great stake in keeping you, your cells as healthy as you possibly can, right? But what happens over time with all, all body parts, all parts, car parts, every part? Um, our cells start malfunctioning. And when they malfunction, pieces of the cells break off and they call those zombie cells and that those zombie cells that break off create a debris in your body senolytics and you only take two of these at the same time once a week the way they uh, so it's like really cheap I don't know what these cost but you take one of these little two packs once a week that's all you know what this does it cleans out that cellular debris, those zombie cells. It cleans it out. It's like bringing a broom into your body and sweeping it all away. And um, think about when you sweep your kitchen floor, how much um, nicer it is in there. In our body's uh, case, uh, it's not only cleaner in there, it makes the body work better. So this, you might want to really try this. And if you have my book, A New Way to Age, in the back section in the Bill Falloon interview, he's the editor of Life Extension Magazine. Read his interview, it's quite profound, and he talks about senolytics. He also talks about NAD. Now, today we're selling NAC, which is N-acetylcysteine, which takes care of the lungs, the, li the liver, and longevity. Uh, my thing fell out. Oh. <laughs> You didn't put it in tight enough. You want me to screw it? I've got it. I've got it in. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. I've got it screwed in. NAD, you're going to be so impressed with me right now, stands for niticonidamide adenine dinucleotide. Okay, but you never need to learn that. You never need to say that. What NAD does is it repairs malfunctioning cells. So now you got senolytics sweeping out the debris, the bad guys, the... the the stuff in the corners, and then NAD, uh, that is to repair uh, DNA breaks in your cells. That's, if, if, if keeping your cells healthy is how we maintain longevity, then it's, those are pretty important supplements. Now, on the zinc picolate, so you've got vitamin C, I'll talk, I love talking about vitamin C, you can't get enough vitamin C okay, so incredible. Well, while you're doing that. Yeah, please do. Okay. So we give you a Restore Life Vitamin D3, which we all need during these times, with any purchase of $24.99 or more. It's a great gift. Okay, zinc. It's a great gift. So you've heard taking vitamin D, take zinc. Um, zinc, picolate, has been shown to have superior absorption uh, and um, it may shorten duration of symptoms of the common cold. It's been shown to increase T-cell numbers 
and various aspects of immune response in elderly subjects. Is that us, Al? No, no. Uh, zinc uh, prevent, has been shown to prevent fatigue and maintain quality of life in colorectal cancer patients who are undergoing chemotherapy. It's been shown to increase the gene expression and enzyme activity of SOD in overweight type 2 diabetes patients and it's been shown to improve glucose metabolism. A lot of people with diabetes, so zinc has a lot of functions. I take it because of what's going on in today's environment uh, as protection. Nothing is 100%, but this sure helps protect you. And then for those of you who are struggling with diabetes, ask your doctor how he feels about your uh, supplementing with zinc. So, yes. Well, here, uh, Jeanette Carrier mm -hmm. said, why are doctors so against supplements and vitamins? I try to talk to my doctor about them, mm -hmm. and he just put me off. I I really dislike hearing that, okay? Yeah. I really dislike that. I mean, many years ago, before the earth was messed up with commercial farming, we got most of our minerals and vitamins that we needed, but we didn't have as many poisons floating around environmentally. And today we really need this stuff. So when I hear the doctors just shut you down when you want to talk about vitamins and supplements, I don't get angry. I just am disappointed that an MD would not be open. But here's, you know, I've written this in my books too. Doctors are down on what they're not up on. There used to be, I don't know about you, but my mother revered uh, priests and doctors. Whatever they said, that, that was dogma. That was... And if a priest also was a doctor. <laughs> I never knew a priest who was a doctor but I'm sure there are. And uh, so whatever they said was the golden rule. Well, doctors got used to having all the answers. And now with all this supplementation, they didn't study it. They don't know anything about it. Uh, they certainly haven't written 27 books uh, dealing with those subject areas like I have. And so I have found that the way I've stayed healthy and more youthful than I expected to stay in my 70s is because I supplement that which my body is now requiring or used to make and is no longer making enough of. Um, that's what hormone replacement is, putting back what your body no longer is making in sufficient numbers or putting back what is in your body that is in decline, nutrients, minerals. You know the body can't operate without minerals. And so that's why we suggest, you know, uh, amino acids and um, uh, selenium and... Uh, the, the, magnesium. Know, the magnesium. That's the big one. The magnesium. I remember, um, I remember there was my organic gardener uh, here. She taught me a lot about organic gardening. And one day she came up and she was just a mess. It was just tragic. Her 16-year-old son had dropped dead on the uh, playing field playing uh, football. And so I happened to be at that time, and this must have been around the time when I was writing the book Breakthrough. I was talking to Dr. Russell Blaylock, the renowned uh, neuroscientist, and I said, how can that happen, a 16-year-old who's an athlete? And he said, I would bet anything, it's high um, excitotoxin intake, i.e. fast food, that excites the, the uh, neurons in your brain to death at times. Um, heavy uh, exercise, I, he's on the football field, and uh, a lack of magnesium. And I said, you mean that this kid's life might have been saved had he had sufficient magnesium? You said, it very well could be. That's how important magnesium is to the balance in our body. So uh, we, we have, um, I, I take magnesium every day, I give it to Alan every day. I think it's one of the most important supplements you can take. So, we've got vitamin you know, C. Yeah. Susan, what's interesting, you're talking about how, you know, a lot of doctors aren't up on what they don't know. Right. But one of the reasons we pulled these products out for today is that it seems like conventional doctors and anti-aging doctors, integrative doctors, they all agree on one thing right now, and that's vitamin C, vitamin D, and zinc. Yep. So yep. That's yep. what prompted us to do the vitamin D as a free gift. You are so right. Controversial 
of any part of medicine Thanks. about those three Thank supplements. So yeah. that's why we're, we're featuring those today. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Mark. Yes, and you are right. And that they do seem to have a consensus about, about that. But also, it could also be that the older doctors doctors are retiring or dying off and younger doctors are moving in their places and they're more open to this new thinking. But anyway, um, I just got my information on NAC because I just had like a couple little bullet of, of points right here and it says, um, uh, where I just see, oh, 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 on vitamin C, uh, it, uh, it also uh, it supports a healthy response to immune challenges. So that's why the doctors are saying vitamin C. Uh, enhanced antioxidant activity. That means that uh, vitamin C eats the free radicals. That's Suzanne speak. Biocursetin um, provides up to 50 times more bioavailable than traditional quercetin. So what quercetin is interesting that that would be in our vitamin C because they say when you take zinc that to also take vitamin um, C and quercetin along with it allows for the zinc to get inside the cells and make it more readily available. So that's kind of important. So these are all kind of working together. Now, I told you about NAD that repairs uh, DNA breaks that you take once a day, every day, for life if you can. NAC is for longevity, your liver, and for your lungs. And um, those are pretty important things to be operating at max, liver, lungs, and you want to live a long time. That's why we're all together. You know, we want to live a long time, but we want to live a long time healthy. And um, it's, it, it ain't living if you're not healthy. So that's what this is about. That's what, that's what I bring you. So Linda Johnson, uh -huh. that I just found out my son, has been sneaking my Suzanne vitamin D. <laughs> I told him to get his own. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Well, okay. Linda, why don't you buy him a bottle? <laughs> it's great that your son's into it. No kidding. Yeah. Okay. The young people are very, very savvy to supplementation. Yeah, absolutely. They don't resist it at all. And um, uh, ever since I broke my neck, um, as my neck is in this long process of repair, swallowing is very difficult. And so my, my supplements become challenging for me. But I get them in because I know how important it is. Okay, so, uh, our livers, I, gosh, you want to take care of your liver, that's, that's your, that's where we make our most powerful antioxidant, which is glutathione, we make that in the liver, and, um, and that reduces cellular stress. Here we go with cells again. I always say when I write a book, like when I was writing A New Way to Age, I don't know where it's going. I just start inter interviewing the doctors, and always inevitably a theme emerges, like in a new age, cellular health emerged. Now, I did not start out to write a book about cellular health. I didn't even think about it, really, like all of us, until doctor after doctor after doctor in that book started talking about this keeps your cells healthy, this helps clean out cellular, cellular debris, this one repairs your cells. And you realize, ah, oh, that's the new thing, keeping your cells healthy. That's what you are. You're 40 to 60 trillion, trillion cells. Well, you taught me so much about NAC, uh -huh. the new one that we're launching today, uh -huh. and how it actually turns on your own body's glutathione production. Because right. I was well aware of glutathione and how important it is, but you taught me that NAC is the way to turn that on and how protective that is. So thank you, because it's an important one. Well, thank you for reminding them. You know, I know a lot, but I can't remember it all when we get up. the camera goes on. I go, oh yeah, what is all that stuff that I know? <laughs> well, the NAC, it promotes um, uh, glutathione levels. It uh, provides powerful antioxidant support. It supports your immune system. It encourages liver health and function, promotes bronchial and respiratory health. That's why I keep giving it to you, Alan, because of your nasal issues. And it helps uh, fight back against oxidizing free radicals. Oxidizing means malfunctioning, no longer healthy and round and perky. 
everything that's young and healthy is healthy and round and perky, and then when it starts running out of juice, it kind of disintegrates. Doesn't so Aunt, Aunt Phyllis yeah. says, you're so smart. She's from Niagara Falls. Oh, thanks, Anne. So Anne, maybe uh, you dance with me at Crystal Beach. <laughs> but also, you know, you've written about this so extensively in your books, and you have so many supplements in your line now, but, you know, Violet has always had to take an eye off yeah. ever since she um, was 15 years old. So adding the NAC so that she gets that extra protection to help turn on her own production of glutathione, because I didn't realize when you're taking glutathione orally, which you can, it has a very short bioavailability yes. in the yes. body. So when you take NAC, it helps your body make it on its own, and that's Hang around you have helped us restore our system. So I really appreciate that. I, I so admire Violet who so she's 25 now? 22? Uh, 22. Yeah, 22. 22. That she takes it so seriously. Uh, but she was in the fight of her life at 15, imagine. From the environment. Yeah. From the environment. That's, that's why I think our family is so uh, 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 um, cognizant of the environmental assault. That's the yeah. other... Yes? No, I absolutely, and, and you know, because glutathione is probably our most important antioxidant that we make, anything that we can do to help help our bodies help itself is really, yeah. it's really the point of all the supplementation. So, yeah. And the NAC is another, like, that is a huge antioxidant tool in the vitamin box. We actually can't take in enough antioxidants because look at the chemical bombardment of all of us. Look, look at look at that. I mean, um, I, not in our house because we use all of our products. We use our hair care, skin care, household cleaning products. We don't clean with chemicals. You don't walk in to our house and get bombarded with you know uh, air freshener sprays and things like that. I we started doing that because Alan is so allergic to chemicals and in in the biggest picture we're lucky that he was allergic because it forced me to be cognizant and to just clean our body out and then reestablish our company as a company who um, reveres uh, quality clean air and products that's what that's what we that's that's what yeah, we're and also you know the NAC right now again especially because of the support for the lungs. Yeah, yes, the because, lungs. You know the glutathione helps us to uh, it helps support getting rid of mucus and clearing airways. Right. And what could be more important right now than that? So that's a super important one right now, the NAC. And then of course you, know, you brought us the zinc picolinate and the vitamin D and the vitamin C. So these are, kind of, you know, when I skip supplements right now, when I can't, when I can't take my whole pile, yeah, I find that these are the ones I'm taking yeah. first. I am too, just because of of um, what what our country and the globe is is enduring right now. Mm -hmm. um, and th these are trying times, and so if we can uh, reestablish and manage the health of our bodies by supplementing a little bit. Why not? Why wouldn't you do it? So Jeanette Carrier said, can I take more than one nasal renew a day? Oh gosh. 71, very bad allergies. I can answer that. Yes, you answer. I, I take three in the morning and almost first thing in the morning. And if necessary, I take three more at night, but I definitely take three in the morning. And it's, it's great. I've been doing it now for several years. And you know, uh, about two hours ago, my nose was dripping, 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 because there must be a lot of pollen in the air today. And I took two nasal re renew, and I'm not dripping anymore. So was it coincidence, or did it do it? All I know is I did it. What? Last, last night, my nose draining. You know, it's not fun no. right now to have any kind of a draining kind of nose. No. So. No. When I take the nasal renew, then I know I'm okay. Yeah. Yeah, nasal renew is a profound product. Again, who knew, like in our gut, where we have the good guys and the bad guys, the, the, um, uh, the, the, the you know, the, the chemicals that bombard us 
come in through our skin, through the food we eat, and the air we breathe. So what you put on your skin really matters, and you've got that covered. You're using all the Suzanne Organic products that, as we are. Um, if you are not eating organic food and you're not supplementing, then the chemicals are coming in and getting into your GI tract. Now you got a problem. Once they're in your GI tract, you know, we were talking the other day about the gut challenge, and that's what's going on in your, in your GI tract right now. All of you who are doing the gut challenge, I'm so excited that you're, you've taken to that. We had three men over for dinner last night, and they're all uh, going to take the gut challenge. And I looked at them, and nobody, none of them sitting there had a weight problem per se, but they don't feel good. Their guts don't feel good. So here's why your gut doesn't feel good. When these chemicals come in and get into the GI tract, they get into the small intestines. And they start eating little holes into the barrier wall of your intestine and causing leaks. That's what leaky gut is. You ought, I mean, when I was a kid, I never heard of leaky gut. Nobody had leaky gut. Leaky gut is a new reaction to all the chemicals. Look what we bought into. Uh, it, it makes me sick to think of what we accepted as, woo, isn't this great? I remember when my mom brought home her first can of Raid, which was a poison ant spray, whereas before she used to make a sticky paste with uh, ivory soap and put it along their little ant uh, walk, and they'd step in it and taste it, and they hated it and left. And then she brought home Raid, and this poison sat on the sink counters and on the baseboards, and all the dead little ants, and we just thought that was so great. Never did we think about what was what was it, the contamination of the buildup of, of this ant poison that we're spraying around our house? What was it doing to us? Um, you know, I got cancer 20 years later, so who knows? I don't know. I don't know. So that is, Caroline's right. That's why we put together C, zinc, D, um, uh, ocular. Oh, ocular, yeah. I think that's the only one I haven't talked about here. And they see Ocular Renew, you know, you want to keep your eyes strong, you've noticed lately you're probably because you're watching more television than ever before and your eyes are straining and so you want to keep your, your eyes strong so Ocular Renew is um, is in there and I think I take that every day too. It's yeah, gaggy. For screen time, all of our computer and phone time. And screen and, time, yeah. You know, you've got 20 and 30 year olds now who are having eye diseases that you used to not see until wow. people their, you know, 70s, 80s. I hadn't thought about that, but I know that one of the new phenomena of young people is something called tech neck. Do you know what tech neck is? Everybody's leaning over their computer, sitting in their bed on their pillow with their computer right here. Well, after a while, um, the neck doesn't want to come back. And I'll tell you, since I've had this broken neck, I've never valued my neck more because I, I just finished right before I came on with you, my physical therapy, which I do every other day. And we spent most of the hour today working on my neck and my mobility and my ability to go up and down, but it doesn't come back easy. And so what I learned about tech neck from leaning over at your computer is when you're constantly leaning over like this, um, you start snapping little bones in the top of your spine because it's here, right? And then when you, that little, <coughs> that crack thing you hear, you could be a snapping little bone. And, and have you seen people who are permanently bent over? Like we have a, a trial law lawyer friend of ours that he's a trial lawyer and he, he just walks around, he's young, he's younger than Alan and I, but he walks around bent over like this. Um, I doubt that he's ever thought about the fact that it's because he's constantly leaning over his computer and leaning and leaning down. I'm just really co cognizant of posture and neck health since uh, I broke my neck. You know, I was asking the God of my understanding, uh, I probably ask this every day, why? Why, why was I asked to endure um, these terrible injuries I've had this year as a healthy person. It's been, um, I'd never, I, I don't think I ever got depressed so far. Do you think so, Alan? 
I've, I've never been depressed through this. I just no. I, it's it is what it is, and I and I'm married to him. He's taking such good care of me, but I know I'm learning some big lesson, and maybe the lesson I'm learning is something that I will figure out and then I can pass on to you. I, that's what I hope it is. I hope that this is for all of us. But what I do know is that I'm springing back faster than everybody in the medical field that I work with uh, ever expected, and that's because they started out so healthy, so healthy. So. Absolutely, and you look amazing, and <laughs> your recovery has been inspiring. Thank you. You know, I was just looking at the ingredients in ocular health, uh -huh. because a few years ago, I noticed that um, I was not able to read as easily as I had a year before that. So I started on the Ocular Renew, and uh, I assume this is the reason when I went to the eye doctor two days ago, when was it? Friday. I went there yeah. Friday, Yeah. and I did the regular eye test, and then I had read something uh, that really uh, interested me about something called, oh, I think it was OCT. And basically, it is an even more detailed examination of your eyes. And so I took that while I was there as well. And then afterwards, he showed me graphically on the screen. Uh, I wouldn't use the word perfect vis-a-vis -vis my eyes. But um, I can read uh, without glasses as long as I have, you know, uh, light on, on what I'm reading. Uh, and I've never had a problem. Remarkable at age four that you had a perfect eye exam. Yeah, I, again, I wouldn't use the word perfect. I mean, I use it. You know, well, you I, wear reading glasses. Yeah, I, I wear them because um, I can't always find light. I mean, sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm like right now. I can, I can read without the glasses. Okay. What's in this is um, astra, astra xanthin and saffron. And saffron is good for your eyes. Amazing you know? saffron, amazing for your eyes. Amazing. Who, who discovered that? I don't know. Dr. Blaylock is the first one who told me about saffron. Mm. Um, I remember I interviewed this Pakistani doctor in one of my books, Dr. Khalil Mahmood, and he said, "You know, I'm from a third world country, and yet we have um, much less disease in our country and cancers and things like that than you have in your country." And I said, "Why do you think that is?" He said, "These spices that we use." He said, uh, we cook with cumin and saffron and, and um, all the Indian uh, spices that... Turmeric. Turmeric, curcumin, all those things that make uh, curries taste so good. And, um, and he said, and also, not only because we eat the antioxidant herbs uh, and spices, he said, we also nurse our babies longer than you do in the States. So nature has it all figured out. They gave us the herbs and spices, and they gave us breast milk, and uh, you know we're free to do what we want to do. That's what free will is. But um, uh, it's pretty. But it, it is pretty amazing with the saffron. They have done clinical studies to show that it that it does improve people's performance on the smell and eye chart. So that's like what an easy thing to take to help protect against blue light which we're all exposed to yeah, all day yeah. on our computers or our TVs. Show them this out. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, so this is what we're talking about, the ocular renew. Uh, you'll be doing yourself a favor uh, by taking one of those a day. It's an easy pill to swallow. It's small. And again, with all of Suzanne's supplements, you know, she has always gone for highest quality, purity, and potency. She, um, all of her products are reverse engineered based on the clinical studies that are out there and approved by FDA and FTC. So they're always reverse engineered with the exact amounts that were used in the studies so that she can come to you and make those claims that she's able to make today, like um, NAC helping support longevity, the liver, the lung, all things that we're concerned about right now, and the zinc picolinate helping to support the immune system so important right now and she was the first person to talk about senolytic or no i haven't heard anyone else talk about that before suzanne um no and she's always out on the cutting edge so we encourage you to jump in today and get that free vitamin d i'm on the cutting edge because the people i interact with that i interview and weave through my books 
are so generous and so forthcoming with their information for me. And they're from all over the world. Because books um, don't just stay in this country. If a book is successful here, it's successful in many, many countries. You know, for the longest time, uh, my book Knockout, Doctors Who Are Curing Cancer Without Drugs, was the number one book in China for the longest time. So the information is out there, and um, I'm proud to bring it to you. So and it, well, it helps me. It helps weed through the pack too. Yeah. It's like we've all seen vitamin C, but I didn't know until you told me that how important it is to have the quercetin with the vitamin C, so that yeah, you know, you get 50 times more bioavailability of that quercetin with the vitamin C. So. I wouldn't know that. I just take your products because I trust you, but then you learn about them and you go, oh, that's why. It'll last. They may cost a little bit more, but they're better. But the quercetin allows for the zinc to get inside the cells and be more effective. You know what? I dropped my ear thingy, Alan. And oh, on you're the kidding. Floor, oh, you're kidding. Uh, I think over on the this side of uh, your bar. I don't know. There's something wrong with those. They don't stay, and I'm sorry, ladies and gents. You know, they come with different sized um, rubber. Yeah, these don't fit me. So, Alan, we need to get her the larger rubber yeah. pieces to put on it because they have three different sizes and it yeah. comes with the middle one, but I think you need the <laughs> larger one. Here. It means your ears are wide open. My ears are wide open. So you can take in more information and then yeah. tell you it all to it? us. No. Look over here, look under where your new bottle of vodka is. So just a reminder to everyone while they're looking for that earpiece, anything you purchase today worth twenty four ninety nine at SuzanneSummers.com, you're going to get a free bottle of the vitamin D3, which is worth twenty four ninety nine. So you're basically we'll getting a free $25 gift today. And this is for the left jar. Um, Christine Collar Klopsik said, oh, Carolyn, thank you for reminding me to reorder Senolytic. I saw a huge improvement in how I felt within a couple of weeks um, okay. without taking it. So she's going to reorder. Well, it, thank you, I Christine. mean, imagine if you got, you know, imagine uh, little little guys in there with brooms sweeping out all the debris. <laughs> You're going to feel better. <laughs> So uh, Nicole, uh, Nicole, Hing, uh, Nicole Hingle Egan said, I've only been taking nasal renew for a few days. I don't know how it could work so fast, but I've not had to take allergy medicine uh, in a couple of days. No ibuprofen Great. either. Great. I don't have nasal issues, Great. Uh, but my ears would get confused. Tested two days now, no problems. Oh, I'm so glad. Isn't that great? And you too. The same thing happens to you. Yeah, exactly. He has chronic uh, sinus issues. Yep. So he has to take it every morning and every night. But it's amazing. Within 15 minutes, as I notice, after he takes it in the morning, that stops. Yeah. Yep. It's great stuff. Yeah. It's great. All of our stuff is great yeah. stuff. So here's the deal. Let me just hold it up again. Here it is. If you spend twenty four ninety nine or anything beyond that, you get a free gift of our vitamin D three, and it's great. It's the best ingredients yeah. you can find. Yeah, I highly urge you to uh, sample uh, Senolytics. It's a small uh, investment. It's once a week to take the two in the packet. Uh, I highly urge you to, if you're not on vitamin C, to start taking vitamin C. I highly urge you to take L-lipoic acid. Um, did we talk about L-lipoic acid? I, I think we did. No, 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 I mean, just you just said it was such an important antioxidant. But yeah, let me just, is, is there something I didn't, yeah. It supports um, energy function. Pardon me? We just pulled a bunch of them. Yeah. support products today because everyone's chatting about it. Yeah. Well, it, uh, it elipoic acid, um, it, you know, it's it's cellular energy. There's that word again, cellular. And it, it works in the body in the multiple compartments of the cells that are water and fat. It reduces, uh, has abilities to reduce oxidative stress and oxidative damage. Oxidative is bad in the water and fat parts of the cells. Very unique. Um, Antioxidants help the cell damage and sugar damage if you've eaten a lot of sugar in your life. 
lives in water and fat. It helps detoxify free radicals. Those are the bad guys. Uh, protects from sugar glycation. You know, you know, sugar is your enemy, good though it may be. Uh, alpha lipoic acid. I mean, our lipoic acid is unique and powerful. It's an antioxidant, uh, protecting all compartments of a cell, including mitochondrial, which is your energy, to promote anti-aging and longevity. And it's a hundred percent active. Uh, when it says R in front of it, that means it's a hundred percent active, unlike alpha form. So. There you have it. Those are today's. Go to our site and look at all the other um, supplements that we have. And then make a list of questions that you want me to answer because you, you know what you want from supplementation. But if you get energy and cellular repair and cleaning up cellular debris and uh, reestablishing the microbiome in your nasal and sinus cavities and reestablishing the uh, microbiome in your gut. And if on top of taking um, probiotics, you then take the 30-day gut challenge with our Gut Renew, which is just so good. Uh, and um, look up that show if you didn't see that show. Wow, that's one of the most successful shows we've ever done. It's the, the, the orders are coming in. What was that last week, Caroline? Yeah, just a week ago. A week, ago. week ago today. And it's on, it's on fire because who do you know who doesn't go, oh, I'm so bloated or I'm so hungry? Everybody. Everybody. Every, everybody. Everybody's got something wrong with their gut. So I... Um, and by the way, just for the edification of uh, the folks who are with us today watching, uh, we ourselves uh, took this... Um, a gut renew challenge ourselves over a period of six six plus months and we were so thrilled with it it worked for all of us and we decided to share it by the way just so you know before any of our products are presented to you we make sh we make dead sure that they work for us as well and yeah, I'm your guinea pig <laughs> and so am I yeah and that's the way it should be. By the time it gets to the point where we're going to start testing them on ourselves, they they've gone through rigorous t testing. Yeah, so. we call we call it the rinse the rinse cycle. I'm on day eleven of the thirty day challenge. Oh wow! And I'm happy to report I've never been hungry. Huh? I'm very satisfied. The shakes are the gut renew smoothies are delicious. Yeah. We have all kinds of recipes for you. Thirty three different recipes, and of course you can make up your own. Um, so you're getting, I think it's the, you know, you've got those, those organic plant-based proteins in there, and I think it is helping me to feel fuller. Ah, uh, so interesting. That's why I don't get hungry between meals, and if yeah. I do get hungry, you just, you just eat vegetables all day, which is... Yeah, I had one this morning, and I'm not hungry at all. I have, I have a gut renew smoothie every single morning. I had been having them with peaches and coconut milk, and now my new favorite is what's on the the wild blueberries and coconut milk and the gut renew is so good. But then the next one I want to make is the one with the coffee that you said was so wonderful, Caroline. Oh, it's so good. I love that one in the afternoon. Yeah. Of course, Bruce, when Bruce makes his, he opens his cabinet and he adds all kinds of like whatever powder he has in the cabinet that he just wants to use up. So I made a beautiful one and had like mangoes and pineapple and it was bright and orange and had coconut milk it tasted like a pina colada it was so good and then he made his own and then he pours it into the glass and he said well i made gray and it really looks like cement yeah <laughs> and he put spirulina in it oh. extra vodka and all this you know bruce yeah he's more is more yeah everything in it and it was it was great. It looked like cement. Yeah, it sounds terrible. You know, uh, we, we stopped at that place yesterday. Yeah. We yes. stopped at that place yesterday to get a, a pizza. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Place is, uh, it makes great Neapolitan pizza. Yeah. And uh, while I'm waiting for it, it took about 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes. Uh, the guy handed me this page called The History of Pizza. I thought, what a great thing to, to, uh, to learn about before you eat their pizza. Oh. And he said, uh, there are there are f four key ingredients in a true, authentic, Napoleonic, uh, Napoleonic, Napole Napolitan, 
Not Poli- Neapolitan. Neapolitan. Yeah. I knew. Thank you. I was just testing. Pizza. The oven. The oven. San Marzano tomatoes. Fior de latte mozzarella and Dopio Zero flour. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Do- yeah, I don't know. Caroline, do you know what Dopio Zero flour is? Double, double zero flour? Dopio is double. Well, that's what they use. Well, I'm going to say goodbye now. I hope I got you turned on to wanting to take supplements. If you don't take any supplements, then I always say, if you're only going to take one, take a probiotic every day for the rest of your life. Anything else you can add is only going to enhance the quality of your life and your energy. Uh, good health is about energy. When you see old people shuffling across the street, that's that's not living to the fullest. You want you want to have a spring in your step, and by uh, supporting your body with all the right vitamins, minerals, and nutrients, uh, you're going to see and feel a big difference. So take care of yourself, and I'll see you on Friday.